All right, you guys, so the first thing I did is I went ahead and took off the back of the Casamigo label. And also, just take your time, guys, with peeling it off. Now I'm putting this adhesive tape along the sides of the Casamigo label. Do you guys see how I'm concentrating so hard? I'm literally trying to put it on so perfect. And I believe if you look this up, you just look it up as adhesive lash tape. You think about just going ahead and taking the label off altogether, but I didn't want to get where the birthday label was going to go at. I didn't want to get it messy under there because then I was going to have to go ahead and clean up the glitter in the Mod Podge. Now we're going in with this Mod Podge glue and I actually got this from Michaels a while ago. I had did another birthday bottle for somebody. Um, if you guys want to go see that, you can go ahead and look at my TikTok. My TikTok is at Lexi Hickson and this is actually what inspired me to make this YouTube video. That's why it's not in YouTube format. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried to change it, but I couldn't. Um, my TikTok video actually went viral for this birthday bottle. So I think I'm going to go ahead and edit this too and put it on TikTok. I don't know yet. I don't know. And I forgot to mention this is a foam brush I'm using. I realized while I was putting on the Mod Podge that I should have just did it in smaller sections and then put the glitter on. Now it's time for the glitter so I took a big piece of paper and then a smaller piece just to put the excess glitter back in and also to keep my work area clean. And now it's time for the glitter, you guys. My favorite part. You can see that the glitter is not sticking. That's because the glue dried too fast. So, like I said, I should have worked in smaller sections. But it's okay. I did go ahead and put Mod Podge back over it. Yeah. 
Now I'm just taking my time with peeling the tape off that top label and it was like a little sticky just cause the Mod Podge and glitter had got on it. I don't know why I cleaned it off because I'm gonna take it off anyways. But okay, so let me go ahead and talk about this label for a minute. Tell it to like FedEx or UPS. You email it to them and you tell them what you want. So if you like want it as a sticker, you just put that and then when you get there, they'll print it out as a sticker. I found this label on wowtempo.com. All right, and mind you, when printing it out yourself, um, I ended up having to reprint it because the first label that I put on, it's I had put the Mod Podge on it because you know the Mod Podge glue I had put it on and it ended up like just creasing up. So I ended up having to cut out like two pieces of paper and I just glued it to the back of the Casamigo label. Alright you guys, so then I just went in with the E6000 glue. Hey. Hey y'all, it's your girl like My man, my man's coming over tonight. Oh, still recording. Alright you guys, so now I'm just showing y'all the progress. As you can see, I just did a mix of, I'm just really filling it in wherever I did the corners first. And then, so I'm just doing the bigger gems, or the big, yeah, the gems, right? I'm doing the bigger ones. So I'm doing, you know, pink, and then silver, pink, and then silver. And this glue stuck pretty well, you guys. I really didn't have any issues like the sliding or them falling off. I don't think I've had it. I've had the bottle. I still have the bottle now and not one gem has fell off. Now I'm just doing the same thing on the top of the cap, but I'm using the smaller gems. All right, so now it's time to put this super cute crown on. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was only $2.49. I actually have it linked down below. And then I went in with some alcohol wipes and I just went ahead and wiped some of that glitter off wherever I needed to. And I did notice that there was some spots that needed more glitter, so I just sprayed that gloss sealer on and put more glitter on. <laughs> <laughs> 